Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be making my own insert cards as well as my own, well, my own cards with the inserts. So uh, based on the previous video, I was showing you guys the card mat, this right here. Um, and I have the other sizes. Well, I don't have like the biggest one, but I don't have any of the square one. No. Yeah. Any of the square ones. And I really love square cards. So I figure why not make my own? So I actually got these paper packs from uh, Craftsmith. They sent over these paper packs. So thank you so much. Uh, they're really pretty. This is a Tropic Bliss Treasure Box and Spring Inks. They're so pretty. As you can see right here, I already started to make this. I turned this into a card already. See that? And this one comes from this pack. I think I think it was the first one actually. Yeah, there's still two left. Super pretty. And then I made some inserts in like gold glitter, and I thought this one was really cool. Uh, these like peonies or carnations. I'm not sure what they are. I think it's like a combination of peonies um, and maybe some roses. But uh, yeah, it's it's like from this one from the treasure box paper pad. Uh, so let's get started. I do have the sizes. I was able to look them up. So I have those for you. Uh, all the only thing that you'll need will be so cardstock color of your choice of cardstock, sorry, um, your choice of cardstock, and then um, for the card and then for also the insert part. So for I do have the sizes here that I wrote them down right here. So the card for the square one is 4.75 by 4.75 inches, this one right here. And the insert is slightly smaller, so it's 4.5 by 4.5. So we're gonna make these two, the card and the insert, and um, that will give us the S40 card size for the card mat. So, okay, I because I already used this, I'm not gonna use this again. Um, but maybe I'll use, I really like this one. Um, let's see here. Let's use like, maybe, okay, let's use something from the Tropic Bliss. I think I forgot to mention though, um, besides the paper pad or like I said, cardstock that you'll need, you'll also need some type of paper trimmer. I have this paper trimmer right here, uh, some type of scoring tool. And that's it. So paper trimmer and a scoring tool, and that's all you need to measure out the card, to cut the card, and yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be, instead of cardstock, like plain cardstock, I actually want some designs. So I'm gonna be picking something from here. I might do like this pretty, this pretty pink as maybe the card, and then, I could do, this is actually really pretty too. Something I kind of want to do, maybe I should do ooh, the magenta. What do you think? Hmm, this is hard. Let's do this, no, which one? I just saw one that was like really pretty. I'm a sucker for foil. And because this has foil, I'm gonna use this one. Now, I have to decide which one will be the insert and then which one will be the card because they're so pretty, I don't know. Um, let's go with, this can be the insert and this can be the card or should I do the other way? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, I guess we could do this as the, as the card. Let's do this as the card. Uh, and then this as the insert. So for the card, this is a 12 by 12 piece of uh, paper. So for the card, we're gonna need to cut it. Um, it's gonna be 9.5 in length. And then the, um, the other side will be 4.75. So 9 point, uh, 9.5 in length, which is like right there. So we're just gonna get it even 
like that. We're gonna go ahead and cut it. Flip it over. And we're gonna cut the, the short side of the card, which is the 4.75. And it's right here, four and three fourths. So this right here, right there. And there we go. We have one card, we have to score it still, but um, let's go ahead. These are all, the length is all, um, they're all 9.5 because I already did that in the beginning. So I'm just gonna cut the short length again, four and three fourths. I'm gonna cut it right there, I think. Okay. You do get stuck with like these little ones, but you can also utilize for those for other things, I'm sure. Now, what we have to do is score it. So let's finish the card. Where is that scoring guide that I had? I might, I, oh, I put it back. So let's use the scoring tool. And the scoring tool will be, let's go to, uh, oops. There, okay. So we need to score it at four and three fourths, so 4.75, half of it. And this thing has a magnet on the back, so it's kind of neat, and that kinda, it is pretty cool. Let's go again, I think it's this one, right there. And let's score it down on the four and three fourths. So I should have done the other way instead of the foil because I'm pretty sure you wreck the foil. And then you fold it. And there we have our little card, which, okay, do you see that? What happened there? Did I cut it like short? What did I do? That is correct. What happened? That went a little bit over. Okay, so then let's just cut that little piece off. That was a quick fix though. And there you have your S40, your square card for the card mat to use. So we have that. Let's score this one. I'm gonna double check that the size is right. So this is 9.5. Yep, 9.5. And then we have to score it in the middle. So I'm gonna turn it around because for that one, we were the half of the card landed on the foil and I don't wanna ruin the foil. So I'm just gonna fold it and um, let's, make, um, let's make the scoring line for this one. So there is the scoring line right there. And there we go. There's a scoring line right there. We are gonna fold it over. And there we go, this one is perfect. So we have our other card, our square card. I guess I could have scored, done the score line twice, but that's fine. You have their, you have two cute, square cards. Now we are going to cut the insert part. So the pink will be the insert. So for that, the insert is 4.5 by 4.5. So let's cut that down. We get a lot of inserts from just one of these sheets of paper because this one's for, uh, 12 inches by 12 inches. I can be such a perfectionist sometimes. Okay, so we got it right there. And again, I'm gonna use the other side because this one, this corner is a little bent. Okay, 4.5. Nice little square. Here you go, here is the insert. I'm going to make more though more inserts because you can never have enough inserts and then get this little extra. I would save those because you can use them for, well, 
I don't know, for so many other things. Um, maybe for school, like for kids' school projects, if they need like scraps of cardstock that your kiddos might need. I don't know. Just a thought. Okay. 4.5 again and flipping it on the other side and same thing. As you can see so far, I've gotten three inserts out of that one. So you're able to get a lot of inserts. Last one. And that's it. So you get four inserts out of um, the 12 by 12. And then you get two cards, two square cards uh, from the 12 by 12. So these are all of the inserts that I made and the, um, the cards here too, again. So these are, let me show you. These are all of the cards that we made. We made four cards. Well, during the video, I made two. These two, I did it off camera. And then got some glitter ones, some flowery ones. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, I'll be here every week with a weekly crafty uh, video. So I will see you next time. Bye.